Hey guys, this is Blaziken Blitz here for the IBF Week 5 with the El Paso Entes here to do some work. Alright, so this week we brought uh, Volcanian. This is an Assault Vest Volcanian. Um, pretty much the same moves as normal. Steam Eruption, Fire Blast, uh, Earth Power, and Hidden Power Grass, I believe, so I can hit my Lodic. Um, I brought Life Orb High Dragon again because it does a lot of work against this team. And it's got Flash Cannon on it so that I can hit things like Weavile and um, Fairies that he didn't, uh, that he actually ended up not bringing. I have Scarf Heracross for like the second time in a row instead of Banned Heracross because I really, I really should have brought Scarf Heracross week one. But that's beside the point. It's Scarf got Heracross because Luring in burns is so easy, and um, it really does a number on his entire team. Um, I also brought Mega Metagross with a bunch of coverage moves. Uh, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, Earthquake, and Thunder Punch, I believe, for this one. Uh, Mammo Swine, the ultimate breaker, with rocks instead of freeze dry this time, because I really didn't need freeze dry. And uh, Speed Passing Combuskin. I can't pass Swords, Dances, and Speed at the same time, so I brought Substitute as my final move. Uh, low kick actually kills Weavile with no attack investment. So I just brought it. I know that pretty much the re whatever I bring on my team can clean after a little bit of breaking is done. So I feel that's pretty much what I plan on doing. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, he's probably going to e either lead with Heatran or he's going to lead with Sableye. And either way, Heracross is like the perfect lead against it. And, um, if he ends up leading with something else, I am perfectly okay with just firing off a move, because both Megahorn and Close Combat are so powerful with Heracross around, even if it's Scarf and not Banned. So that's pretty much why I decided to lead off with Heracross here. And so he decides to lead with Heatran, and I'm just like, yes, I got my prediction right. And I decide to just fire off a Close Combat in case he wanted to bring in Sableye. And if he brought in Sableye, that was cool, whatever. If he didn't bring it in, whatever. So, Scarf Heracross takes one. And I'm just like, okay, he brought in Sableye. I, wanted, I want something that can take a burn while getting me not locked into close combat against the Sableye. So, I decided to go into Combuskin, and he calm mines. And I'm just like, okay, well, I'm not too scared of this thing. I, but I am going to want to set up a sub here in case something, in case he will a wisp something, and I get the speed boost there. He calm mines again, and I'm just like, okay, I'm baton passing out into a breaker now, and so in case he decides to go for a will o wisp predicting the switch or whatever, I go into Mammo Swine with my sub, and he decides to go for the shadow ball, and so I've got a sub broken. I'm just like, okay, Mammo Swine, not entirely important. So I just go for an EQ in case he willows, and it does, EQ does half, and he doesn't willow. So I'm just like, okay, I can go for another EQ, and it'll do just fine, might even kill him. And he goes out into my loading, and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to have to switch out soon. And then I see I got a crit earthquake, and I'm sitting there, I'm just like, oh, this is going to totally matter, I'm going to win because I got lucky again, it's going to be terrible. And then he swaps out into Conkledur on the next Earthquake so it doesn't get killed. Uh, so Milotic doesn't get killed. And Earthquake does a clean 62% to it. And I'm sitting there, I'm just like, Mammo Swine, you are the best thing since sliced bread. I decide to arch Ice Shard here because I'm going down on my own terms instead of Mock Punch terms. Because I'd rather get some damage off on him so that uh, Heracross can come in and clean with whatever. So I bring in Heracross. I know I can threaten him out with a Mega Horn at this point. Um, he brings in Sableye predicting the, uh, close combat, which I completely understand. I went for Megahorn because I knew it would kill Conkler and it would hit Sableye for decent damage. And it takes 44% there, he kind of just wants to sack it off at that point. So, he still doesn't know it's Scarf Heracross, so he brings in, um, Weavile, and all I need to do here is just click Megahorn again, and so I do, and it's gone. And that's, that's wonderful. So, now he has three weakened Pokemon. I don't want to be stuck into Megahorn because it really takes... It really would cost me if I missed here. So, in, 
he goes into x Bloud, gives me the perfect opportunity to sack off Combusking, because clearly all I need to do at this point is just bring in Heracross with close combat and just kind of win. So I sack off Combusking, and I bring in Heracross again, and at this point, all I need to do is just close combat everything, and I just win from here. So down goes the x Bloud. I, I, at some points I get like a tad nervous that Mock Punch might be able to do a decent amount, but then I'm just like, well, I resist it, so by the time he goes for a Mock Punch, I'm probably going to end up living it, even with minus two defenses. So he tries to bring out Conk later and then doesn't go for the Mock Punch, so whatever. But that is a 4-0 for the El Paso Entes and Heracross. Scarf Heracross got six kills. Six kills in one match. That is the El Paso Ente way. We are 4-0, baby. 4-0. And now, <laughs> we're going to have to wait until next week to see what happens. But the 4-0 El Paso Entes, root, cheer, like, subscribe. We're going, we're going for broke. Mr. Perfect, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll have to see. But I'm definitely hoping for playoffs at this point. Stay classy, guys.